So for breakfast, I'm going to be making an overnight chia seed pudding. I'm going to be using this measuring cup and adding my chia seeds. I'm using the brand Nutriva, I think, and I'm adding a third of a cup of chia seeds. So for the milk, I'm just using this Natura rice milk and it's vanilla flavored and I'm adding about a cup and then you could sort of add more and more if you feel like the chia seed pudding is a little too dry. So to sweeten this up, I'm using this Cadia Light Nectar Agave Syrup and adding two about teaspoons of that. So I just saran wrap it and put it in the fridge overnight. Okay, so after soaking it overnight, I add a little more milk if I feel like it's a little too dense. So I'm adding all the fruits I have available and voila! A super nutritious and super delicious breakfast. So for the easiest snack, I'm going to be making an avocado wrap and you'll be needing an avocado and a flour tortilla. So I'm just taking out the avocado and like mushing it up on the tortilla and I am using just like the basic salt, pepper, and chili flakes to add some spice and I wrap it up like a taquito and then I eat it. It's really good and really nutritious. So for lunch, I'm going all raw and making a soy sesame Asian salad. I'm using soba noodles and one tomato, tofu, seasoning, and a mango. Yes. And for the veggies, I'm using iceberg lettuce, spinach, kale, um, no, arugula, and then kale. Okay, so here I am taking the lettuce and taking out the first layer and chopping them up. And I like them bite-sized so it's easier to eat. And then I soak them in an ice bath to make them a little bit more crispy. So while I chop up my other veggies, I'm going to boil in my soba noodles just to add, you know, the Asian flavor. Yes. Okay, so I'm addicted to tofu and I'm using a lot of tofu. So this acts like, you know, like the meaty flavor. So I'm adding this chicken seasoning. It's vegan, don't worry. And just to add like more, you know, meat meaty flavor so I'm going to fry that and uh, yeah I'm frying it there mm -hmm. yeah go fry that and then um, it kind of you know I did that so stupid it went in my eye it was so painful Ouch. so to add more umami flavor I use this Bragg Bragg's liquid amino I don't know it's like a soy sauce but here I am going to chop up my mangoes and I chop them up like this so it's easier to get. So now I am just going to assemble the salad. So I just kind of made it pretty for, you know, the Instagram post. Um, but at the end, I added sesame seeds just to add, you know, a little bit more, you know, Asian sensation. So you can use whatever dressing you want. I used a soy sesame dressing and it was so good. Okay, for a snack, I'm going to be making cheese and crackers. Well, I'm not making it. Just assembling it. So here I am going to use this amazing <laughs> pretzel crisps. It's the sriracha and lime and I love it so much. <laughs> so I'm going to add this cheese. Now I got this cheese at a Sunday market and you can check out their Instagram and I love it so much. It's so good. 
Okay, so now for dinner, I'm going to be making a veggie stir fry and using the vegetables that I have. And I have so snap peas, I have baby corn, some cauliflower, and broccoli and bok choy, and carrots, and then the spices like ginger, garlic, and onion. Green bell peppers and some doge. Can you hear my dog? You know, snoring. Tofu and these mushrooms. Sesame oil, the soy sauce kind of thing. And then, yeah, I'm going to fry up the veggies like so. So I'm starting up with the ginger and the onions and the garlic just to create that aroma. And I love using sesame oil because I love the flavor. And I'm going to just saute those and sweat them up to get ready for the carrots and the remaining vegetables. As you can tell, I added that amino soy sauce kind of thing. And I only added like a few tablespoons just, you know, to add some flavor. And you really have to like taste what you're cooking once in a while because it might be too salty. But what I made, it wasn't as salty, which I like. And it's up to you. So noodles are optional. You can actually just leave out the noodles, but I love these thick noodles. Um, you could use rice, whatever, but yeah. I'm using the rice noodles from Coca, and I'm just stirring that in and adding water because I felt like it was a little too dry. I added the thinner, like the leafy greens last because they cook instantly. So you want to do those last. So I'm such a good daughter and I cooked for my family and I topped it off with black sesame seeds and also white sesame seeds for that Asian flair. Okay, for dessert I'm making baked bananas and it's really simple I just peel the bananas duh, and then cut them in half um, I did it like really sloppy because I was just in a hurry and then I topped it off with um, cinnamon sugar and you can use like coconut sugar I had cinnamon sugar because I think it goes well with bananas and then I bake them in the oven for like 15 minutes uh, at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and voila I is done it was really good it was kind of mushy I kind of wanted to leave it in longer but yeah thanks for watching I hope you guys enjoyed so don't forget to like subscribe and comment and follow me on my social media thank you bye, -bye.